Ever wonder why we get older? Is it because mitochondria can't make energy as efficiently? Or maybe it's because too many mutations accumulate in our genes. Or perhaps the answer is incomplete replication of our genes. You see, when our cells prepare to divide, they have to first replicate their DNA so that each daughter cell has two copies. This happens when the DNA separates into two single strands. Each is used as a template to make the other half. On one strand of DNA called the leading strand, the nucleotides run in a 3' prime to 5' prime direction. This just tells us the orientation of the nucleotides. An RNA primer gets replication started and lets DNA polymerase take over. Here, DNA polymerase's task is pretty simple. It simply slides down the strand continuously, adding on matching nucleotides to create the new strand of DNA. DNA polymerase's job is a little more difficult for the other strand of DNA, or the lagging strand. This is a strand that moves in the 5' prime to 3' prime direction. The problem is, DNA polymerase can only replicate when moving from the 3' prime end to the 5' prime end. So instead of moving continuously down the strand of DNA, DNA polymerase has to work in 500 to 1000 base pair chunks called Okazaki fragments. This process is a lot slower than replication on the leading strand. These Okazaki fragments are initiated by short RNA primer sequences that are placed along the lagging strand. The ends of them contain a hydroxyl group, so the DNA polymerase knows where to begin. Once all Okazaki fragments are complete, the primers are degraded by RNase H, and DNA polymerase fills in the rest of the empty segments by recognizing the hydroxyl groups from the new DNA. All the segments are later stitched together by the protein DNA ligase. The only problem is that the very last bit on the lagging strand and the leading strand, where the primer used to be, is left empty. There are no hydroxyl groups to initiate replication. Because of this, the ends of our DNA get a bit shorter each time our cells replicate. Thankfully though, each of our chromosomes have telomeres, DNA caps that protect our genes. They consist of thousands of repetitive TTAGGG nucleotide sequences that get shorter with each cellular replication. However, cells can only divide so many times before running out of their telomeres. It's a limit known as the Hayflick limit. Although this number can slightly vary based on the predetermined telomere length that you inherit from your parents, the average number of divisions in human cells is 50. When a cell has reached this limit, it reaches a non-dividing state called replicative senescence to avoid DNA damage. Our cells do have special telomerase enzymes that help to lengthen the telomeres, but telomerase is much more present in germ cells rather than our body's somatic cells, so senescence still remains a concern. Replicative senescence can serve as a cancer preventing mechanism, but an increase in these senescent cells as a person ages makes it harder for tissues to repair themselves. This is when you get a loss of memory, lack of energy, poor eyesight and Alzheimer's, osteoporosis, cataracts, and other age-related diseases, leading to faster aging and death. So while there are many hypotheses suggesting the cause of aging through both genetic and environmental factors, telomere shortening is just one area that's being heavily researched today in mice and other model organisms in hopes of reversing aging and achieving immortality. But until then, I hope you found this video helpful. Shout out to Anthony for requesting this video, and if there are any other questions you'd like to see answered on my channel, please comment down below.